Artificial intelligence has seen a substantial increase in popularity this decade thanks to the mass adoption of data science and machine learning in every aspect of the IT industry. One such promising venture is a new system that promises to create realistic art imagery from text descriptions. Hey everyone, today we are going to cover an interesting AI model by the name of DALI 2. Before we move forward though, ensure you are subscribed to our channel and the bell icon is clicked so that you never miss an update from Simply Learn. If you scroll through Twitter and look for the hashtag DALI2, you will be greeted with a plethora of images and artwork shared by many people based on different topics. Starting from Victorian era style pictures of aliens to portrait style images, DALI2 has taken the AI crowd by storm thanks to its photorealistic creations. This model is being developed by a small group of data scientists using models from OpenAI, a startup which is backed by Microsoft. However, Public access has not been provided on a widespread basis and there is a waiting list for people wanting to try out this AI system. The company also has investors' confidence, including Ride Hoffman's charitable foundation and Kosla Ventures. DALI2 can make realistic edits to existing images from a natural language caption and add or remove elements while considering shadows, reflections and textures. The full-fledged access for DALI2 is currently restricted. So the next best choice is to use DALI Mini, which draws an open source code from a loosely organized team of developers and is often overloaded with demand. Anyone can type in a prompt and hit the run button, though you're likely to get an error message about traffic to the tool and have to try again. DALI Mini will spit out its results in the form of a 3 into 3 grid, which contains 9 images. A note about the tool on its website says it was trained on unfiltered data from the internet. The model has been trained by looking at millions of images across the internet tied to the captions. The program then builds up a database of what an image looks like with its worded prompt. While there are no doubts about how impressive this technology is, it isn't without its limitations. Despite the company's intentions, this kind of technology is tricky to deploy responsibly. With this in mind, OpenAI says it is currently studying the system's limitations and capabilities with a select group of users. The company has already removed explicit content from the training data to avoid generating violent, hateful, or adult images. They also say that DALI 2 cannot generate photorealistic AI versions of real individual faces. One other issue you face is the confusion of certain words or phrases. For example, when you input a black hole inside of a box, DALI 2 returns a hole that was black inside of a box instead of a celestial body that the input query may imply. This can often happen when a word has multiple meanings, phrases can be misunderstood, or colloquialisms are used. This is to be expected from an artificial intelligence taking the literal meaning of your words. Another area where DALI can become confused is with variable blending. If you ask the model to draw a red cube on top of a blue cube, sometimes it gets confused and does the opposite. DALI Mini has big competition. OpenAI is slowly opening up its software to the world, allowing more people to use DALI 2. Google has now launched its competitor Imagine, a model with similar accuracy to OpenAI's original invention. The growth of DALI 2 has been relatively slow thanks to the gradual rollout to the public. It will help OpenAI monitor its growth, appropriately develop its safety filters, and prepare its product for the future, where millions will eventually be generating random images from text. If you found this video on the DALI 2 AI engine informative, hit the like button below and for any questions regarding the topic, drop your queries in the comments. We will help you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for new videos on Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.